Hello internet, hello War the Visions fans, and, and hello to all the Sephiroth fans out there because everybody's a favorite sword wielding badasses, super long blade. That's what we're going to be talking about today, katanas, although the Masamune actually doesn't show up on this list because it is very much Sephiroth specific and not a super great general katana outside of that. So we're going to be talking about the general katanas today with an exception or two which are actually genuinely great katanas and specifically important for different reasons. But let's get started with the physical because katanas, like swords, um, do have a physical magical split to them. But currently, either side, and this is kind of odd to me because katanas tend to be big swords made for cutting and basically uh, quickly penetrating someone's defenses, but yet they don't have options for defense or spirit penetration. So we're going to find slash attack resistance penetration. That's something that we're going to see here, but we're not going to see defense or spirit penetration. And this is a little bit of a problem for katana wielding units as well, just not having access to this on their swords. So let's start with the physical and let's also start with the heaven's cloud. This is probably the best of the physical katanas. It is the legendary reliquaries katana. So it might be a little bit difficult to fully unlock, but it has really uh, great stats and abilities. 193 attack is among the highest. Um, it's the, certainly technically the highest for attack in katanas at least. It has 7 accuracy, which is pretty good, but not amazing but 20 crit which is genuinely amazing this is the best crit on any of the katanas even when we start to include tmrs the passives though are what really makes this interesting human resist 5 is basically going to give you general resistances to everybody there's no way to break this this is just a great general type of resistance this is kind of the platinum tier resistance stat. It almost only exists on the Heaven's Cloud. I think it might be somewhere else, but this is premium. Only 5% is a little bit of a letdown, but again, premium, premium stat, premium passive here. Good job, Heaven's Cloud. You also get agility plus 10% when your HP is above 80%. So until you start taking damage, you have increased agility, which is essentially, I mean, this is basically, um, with the way things end up working out, this is basically the buff on Shadow Dance, um, I think without like a barrier and HP, uh, AP restore. Anyways, pretty cool, but you get another critical rate of 20 on top of all of that. So that's the total between the stats and the passives on this, a 40 critical rate. So this is going to be a very, very, very critical heavy katana, and a lot of katana wielders are going to love that, especially Sephiroth. Then we get into the purple lightning plus six. Now there's a bit of an asterisk on this because it does have a lot and I, I want to say it's 30 ice attack up on it. So you're going to be missing a lot of the passives here. I'm not even including that passive here because we're not really talking about elemental weapons for this because generally speaking if you have an elemental weapon and it can get up to a plus six and you are that element and can equip that weapon that's probably the one you want in most cases, especially if you deal multiple damage types because elemental attack up is general where slash attack up is only going to help with your slash attacks. So for the purple lightning plus six, you're going to have 175 attack, which is respectable for accuracy, which is okay. It's not bad. Seven critical, decent, still not amazing. Uh, 20 slash attack up is the highest you're going to see on a katana and then 15% critical damage up, which is pretty cool. Um, not quite as high as the critical rate up, but it will increase your critical damage. People are critting pretty reliably. I would say that, you know, crit rate is becoming less necessary. M more and more helpful, but less and less necessary for a lot of units. So I'm starting to really like seeing crit damage up, and that is something that we're gonna see a lot on katanas. For the Osafune plus 6, you're going to see 185 attacks, so even more attack than the Purple Lightning. 
Negative three agility though, this is kind of a big deal. Um, usually when I point out that there is positive agility on a weapon, that's a really big credit to its favor. Well, this one reduces your agility, which is kind of unfortunate. I just imagine you kind of walking around the field like Jack from uh, Final Fantasy Type Zero, just like Pick up your staff! scooching across on your tiptoes as you wield your katana, <laughs> um, unable to move until you finally attack and just pounce on people. Six accuracy is okay. Eight crit is actually getting pretty decent, but still it's not like the 20 on the heavens cloud or anything. 15 slash attack up is all right. And 10 crit damage is also all right. Just keep in mind that both of these passives, even when you um, discount the fact that we're, we're really missing out on the biggest passive on the purple lightning, these passives are still weaker than the purple lightning and there's a lot of instances in which I could see you even though you're not putting it on an ice unit maybe running the purple lightning plus six over the Osafune just because it does certain things better the things it does worse it doesn't do much worse and in addition to that it does not cause you to lose agility probably the most important part the Glimmering Edge plus 6 is Astrius's signature katana, 182 attack, so just a little bit below the Osafune. 3 accuracy is not great, 7 critical is okay, but this is the slash resist penetration katana, slash attack resistance penetration of 20, and you're also going to get crit damage of an extra 10. Again, pretty cool modifier if you need the slash attack resistance penetration more than you need like raw modifiers. This is a good option, but generally not one of my favorite katanas. And then, and I haven't done this often, and I'm really kind of opening myself up to something kind of annoying here, but I also wanted to mention the lightning katana. You'll see that the attack is 92 to 242, and that's because this is a TMR katana. It starts out with a pretty pitiful attacking stat. However, um, with an attack set and with uh, stat maximization, uh, re-rolling the, the attack stats up to 35, maximizing the uh, level of those stones so that you're getting uh, 15, so that's 50 attack plus per stone for 150 extra attack, bringing this up to 242. It could easily be the highest attack statted katana on here, but again, you're trading off a lot of things because you're losing some power on your TMR slot in, in a number of ways. Your support stats, you're not going to get any accuracy, but you will get 9 evade. 13 crit is also pretty good. Um, but really one of the big things and this is as we're getting better and better katanas this is cutting it less and less but it is still quite a big modifier and quite helpful but human killer of 15. now this is i'm not sure that there's anybody who really lines up with this but this is general human killer so it's actually pretty cool for potential like drain force units or units that are using maybe more typeless or non-physical non-magical skills or units that are maybe using both of those i'm not saying that you would want this on your magic katana units um but the human killer would actually benefit magic scaly attacks and that's interesting but i think that this katana is kind of falling off um it was one of the more stubborn tmr weapons which i don't think are really as popular for a lot of reasons especially with legendary reliquaries out giving us really option uh, really awesome plug and play weapons but it is still worth mentioning um even even though i think it's kind of on its way out and then for the magic side of katanas, let's start with the Kumakiri. It's going to have 190, uh, 189 magic. No accuracy on the supporting stat, but wait, 36 critical? That's ridiculous. <laughs> that is a lot of critical. Um, this is pretty close to like the Heaven's Cloud in terms of kind of absurd statage. And then on the passives, we're going to get 20 slash attack up and crit damage of an extra 15. So this is kind of equal to the uh, non-ice passives on the purple lightning. So this is kind of, uh, in a lot of ways, kind of the purple lightning um, option for magic. And then you have the kind of basic magic katana, the Saitan plus 6. 
This one is boosting a ridiculous magic stat of 226. Um, the support stats are terrible, 3 accuracy, 3 critical, nothing great, nothing to write home about here. Um, and we're also going to have kind of Osafune passives, so slash attack 15, crit damage plus 10. Not bad, but not amazing. Um, this has an even higher attack stat and it, or, well, magic stat in this case, and it doesn't have negative 3 agility, so... I would say that arguably this is a much better katana than the Osafune, but also, you know, no one <laughs> who uses this is going to want to use the Osafune. They're not really overlapping, but um, this is also quite a considerable. It, you're losing out a little bit on your passives um, and on the ridiculous uh, critical up on the supporting stat of the Kumakiri. And one of the reasons that the Kumokiri is so cool and why it is able to get like 36 critical as a supporting stat and such excellent passives is that this is going to be Raychez's sword. And if you're using this sword on Raychez, it's going to be especially powerful. But we're not really talking about specific swords. In general, off of Raychez, it is still keeping up with the Saitan for sure with its better passives and it's just amazing crit on its support stat but i'd say that the saitan keeps up because it certainly has a really thick stat and is a lot easier to get your hands on then another option for you would be the heaven's cloud now this is for really all of the same reasons as it was above but the problem here is that it only has 124 magic and that's certainly going to hold it back quite a bit that being said just having big numbers isn't always the most important thing and agility all of this extra crit rate and human resistance are all still really impactful here even if you don't have the highest magic stat and then we have the Candy Blade, finally. This is another one that is going to have specialized effects for a singular unit, and that's going to be Sweetheart Miranda. She's going to get a whole hell of a lot out of the Candy Blade, but in terms of a general magic katana, it's also quite good. Um, 181 magic is pretty good. It's not the highest here. It's certainly higher than the Heaven's Cloud, um, but it is quite respectable. 5 accuracy, 5 crit are okay. Um, I don't like the passives here as much, but this is your slash attack resistance penetration 20 katana for magic. So like I said, there's going to be a slash attack resistance penetration katana, the glimmering edge and the candy blade, both for physical and magical. I don't necessarily like either of them in most cases. And unfortunately, unlike the glimmering edge plus six, this doesn't have the crit damage 10 because it doesn't have a plus six form yet. And really, a lot of its extra power is going into the uh, the Miranda-specific stuff. And because of that, I really wouldn't even rate it as highly as I would the Glimmering Edge plus 6, which I wasn't a big fan of. But it is notable because there's really only four magic katanas, and it's the Slash Attack Resistance Penetration one, which is going to be important for certain units. And especially if you're Sweetheart Miranda, this blade is going to be awesome. Finally, and only because I included it on the physical side as well, let's talk about the Lightning Katana with a full magic set of trust runes. Now, because there's no initial magic on this blade, this is going to mean that its magic stat will top out at 150, which I guess is a little bit higher than the Heaven's Cloud. Now, why is this interesting? Well, there's a lot of actually ways to give magical units more magical human killer, which could stack on top of this human killer. This is, with a decent stat set on it, a more versatile version of the slash attack 15 modifier. And for magic units, especially with their sub jobs, they often have magic scaling attacks. Um, I mean, like magic attack attacks instead of just slash attacks the human killer will benefit that as well um, you're going to have to bring the additional magical human killer typically from other units though because this tends to be a tmr level kind of uh, buff and there are several tmrs that can do this for you 
Um, so you're going to have to basically use two TMR slots to stack this on this one character, but it would be really versatile. It would allow you to attack with multiple damage types really effectively and potentially like some follow-up damage uh, at some point in the future because I don't think there's necessarily units that would take advantage of this and maybe this katana is completely outdated by then but maybe we have ways to upgrade TMRs by then I don't know maybe like TMR like we can get the lightning katana plus one at that point who knows um, but it is certainly interesting even if it is kind of unfortunate the only reason I include it is that there's just a lack of options on the magic side and since you are already getting most of your attack from the trust stone set then i figured it was worth pointing out that a theoretical trust stone set could give you 150 magic and uh, a basically magical human killer of 15 since this is a versatile human killer um but in general i would say maybe the saitan plus six or the kumakiri if you can get your hands on it by going through Rachez's quest but if you're on the physical side maybe the purple lightning from raids is a good general option because the osafune isn't it has some serious drawbacks um other than that the heaven's cloud is actually a really good pick for probably most everybody especially uh, people like Sephiroth, who needs a bit of resistance, also loves some agility, loves some crit. He just loves everything that the sword does, to the point where even his signature sword, the Masamune, may not be as good an option on him for certain builds as the Heaven's Cloud. Which is kind of funny, because, you know, cloud. Anyways, <laughs> thank you for watching today. I've been Jackie Fox. Be, be sure to like and subscribe if you enjoyed this content, if you appreciate it. Um, there's also a new player's guide playlist that might help you out. Um, I try to do some look backs and use my experience as a War of the Visions player to help newer people coming in or people who just um, are trying to get refreshers on what all is out there, what their options are in general. So if you want to see more overviews like this, let me know in the comments. Tell me about that. Also, check out the links in the description. There's going to be a link to the rest of the Jackie Fox Media Empire including books, videos, and podcasts. Uh, in particular, I just got a new paperback published yesterday, actually. Um, I think it became officially on the market today, and I'm super excited about that. I wrote that book at the beginning of the year, actually, and I'm so excited to finally see it in publication. I've been editing it for most of the year, and now we're ready to go. And hopefully, um, after I see the proof, we'll even have a hardback option for that coming soon. That uh, book is called It Even Happens While You Sleep. And there will be a link to, uh, to that that I'm going to be adding to my link tree soon. If it's not there when you click, come back in a couple days and I'll try to get it added. It's going to be in the Into Dreams series. It's going to be the first part of that. The second part is already available on Kindle but I would encourage you to wait for the, the uh, paperback edit for that because that is going to be a little bit more of a rough edit. It's still a great book, but I'm going to refine it a little bit before the paperback publication, just like I did with It Even Happens While You Sleep. So if any of that sounds cool to you, click that link in the description and check it out. Otherwise, just like, subscribe, and even comment if you have any ideas or maybe some theory crafting about why some of these are really awesome for particular units. Let me know what you think in the comments, and I'll see you in the next one. Hello specifically to all the Sephiroth fans out here, today we're going to be talking about the fact that my dog has to scratch itself the second I start a video. Thanks Rosie, appreciate it. You just made it into the bloopers.